This guy has got a problem. He wants to be out and about, upwardly mobile, working on the go. But he needs a high quality display monitor to make himself as productive and portable as possible. Luckily, these two innovators have got a solution. What we've come up with is the world's thinnest portable display that you can take with you anywhere. Guys, there's some big fish in this space. What makes this different? We're the only company that's really targeting those new mobile workers. We've invented a screen that is so easy to use that there's no thought to it. There's no on button. You just plug it in and it works straight away. It actually started when we were at university working on a project together that we just need two screens for ourselves. Now we put that assignment to the side and we just started working on that straight away. We pulled out the 3D printer, we got printing on a prototype just in plastic initially and we whipped something up, plugged it into our laptop and all of a sudden we had a mobile office space. Everyone wants a desktop monitor but you can't take that with you anyway. It's too bulky, needs cables. So how do you make that more portable so you can be productive where you're actually working? This is what it looks like underneath, under the hood, you can say. You're running your display driver board here. This really powers the LED panel behind it. Mm -hmm. This here is some touch glass. Now that's important because if you play with an iPad or an iPhone before, it's really important to have lots of sensitivity in here. And what that means is lots of channels. It works on phones. It works on consoles like the Nintendo Switch. So if you're using your phone, you may want to show something up on a big screen or maybe even watch some Netflix. But then if you come back to work, you can plug it back into your laptop very easily just with the one cable. Great innovations not only mean a great concept and a eureka moment, but a business model that works. Making one of these prototypes is not that difficult, but trying to scale that to thousands is where you run into a lot of issues. You have to work with an enormous amount of partners and to get them aligned with your mission is where you run into trouble. Look, I think this is extraordinary. Do you reckon I can even use this thing? It's just one cable, plug it into your laptop, plug it into the display oh, and off we go. Just take it with a backpack, let's go. All right, let's do it. So there's a bunch of great coffee shops just around here. Or if you want, there's a bar down the road. Bar, ah, okay, lead on. The name Espresso, where does it come from? What does it mean for you? Pete, espressos are small, and when you drink them, they make you really productive. Hey, Dom. Hey, boys. Hey, Dom. Not sure how much work we'll get done here. All right, now, how does it work in the pub? <laughs> Straight in on that side and center port. Bang, there we go. That's it. That is it. Right. This is obviously in portrait mode, and yep. it just easily flips around to the... To the Give it a go. Cool, look at this. Which one do you prefer? Well, I'm never going back to the office. That's what <laughs> I prefer. Hey, boys. What can I get for you? Well, it has to be three espresso martinis, doesn't it? Easy. Coming up. There you go. She's done. This is slim. It's portable. It's sexy. I'm not talking about this dynamic duo. I'm talking about the espresso. Well done, boys. Cheers. This design claims to solve a really important problem. How to get light when it's dark in a remote community without the use of fossil fuels. Intrigued? Let's go take a look. So this is our Gen 4 mobile solar lighting tower. Wow, a long name. It is a long name, but we like to break it down and call it an MSLT just for ease. We mostly use these on mine sites, but mining, construction, uh, civil works, anywhere where they need light to work at night, but they don't want to use diesel for that light. The solar panels fold out. Uh, during the day, we collect the energy from the sun. We then capture the energy and we store it inside a, a modular energy storage pack inside the trailer. And then when the night comes, it automatically turns the lights on, so no operator input is needed. The lights will turn on, they'll run for a whole shift 12 hours and then the next day we'll start the cycle again. So inside here we've got our control system that we've completely designed ourselves. We've tried to make the, the user interface as intuitive as possible for the user. What we can do is we can click onto the different icons and we can get information relative to what's happening. We can access the trailer from our phone, we can see where it is, we can control the trailer, we can change what it's doing. If there's a problem we can remote into the trailer and try to fix that problem remotely so that nobody has to present to the trailer. So the solar panels pop out. We set the lights up so that they're, they're facing in the perfect position. Simply just wind the mast up. Again, no mechanical, uh, no engines, no solenoids, anything that needs to be serviced. Just wind the mast up and that mast will wind all the way to eight metres. So one of these trailers will save about 25 litres of diesel per night. So to give you a, a breakdown on that, five trailers on a particular site would save about 910 litres of fuel per week. So you can imagine some of these sites that have got over 100 trailers. It doesn't take long for the, the, the numbers to add up. So Dave, this is looking very cool, but we're in a studio. Can we take it out, Bush? Let's do it.
So we've got a trailer off-road. We have. <laughs> and this is robust. It obviously has to be. Yeah, most definitely. So a lot of the roads that the miners are obviously dragging these trailers down, they can be quite savvy. So the trailers are built obviously for this type of terrain. So here we are, we're in the bush. Obviously you can see the trailer's on. It's ready to turn on when it gets dark enough. This is as much noise as this trailer will ever make. There's no heat, there's no fumes. I mean, all you can hear at the moment is the birds because the trailer's sitting here, it's fully charged. It's grabbed all the sun from the day and it's just ready to do its job. Does it come on instantly? It does come on, but you, you wouldn't want to look at the lights when they come on because they're really bright. It's, there you it's go. quite fast, isn't it? It is. So where to from now? Now we've got everything where we need to get it and we've got all of our suppliers internationally. Um, we've gone through all the process of all the prototyping. Now we're into full-scale production. Don't be fooled by the look of the mobile solar lighting tower. It's a heavy-duty piece of mining machinery. Green in colour, it's green in action.